Don't sh <laughs> This is one of the most important steps in creating a Sonic logo. Lucas Murray is the sound engineer behind Tostito's audio brand. Just like a visual logo, brands tack a Sonic logo onto their marketing campaigns to make them more memorable. It's why you probably recognize this sound. And this one. And this. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And, of course, the one Lucas made for Tostitos. Tostitos, get to the good stuff. But what goes into constructing an audio brand? And how much does a three-second sound actually matter? Brands are built by your collective experience with them. So audio branding or sonic branding is just the considered use of sound. But how does a brand come up with these catchy sounds that lodge themselves into people's memories? For Frito-Lay, it actually involved the product itself. The company partnered with producers at Made Music Studios in New York, who transformed Tostito's products into a library of musical instruments. Music is everywhere, really. So I'm on the subway and it's like hitting a certain pitch and I'm like, man, I wish I had a microphone right now because I'm like, that could be a thing. The first moment, you know, was a process of simply capturing every possible sound. Record the bag shake, right? We're gonna use that for a shaker later or something. Record the bag open. I don't know, that'll be something. The crunch too, right? This is actually probably my favorite sound that the Tostitos products make, which is the open. Ooh. That was nice. After experimenting with each of the products, Lucas takes these samples and arranges them into a piece of music. There's something about this product where it's like, it's kind of a complete band. You can make melodies out of it. You can make bass lines. You can make chords out of it. You can flesh out the entire musical suite just with this. The second step in this process was to get those sounds that we recorded in there into kind of digital instruments. And I can play it, right? Lucas composes an entire song before choosing the section that will become the audio logo. When you're sort of presenting this to clients, it's a lot easier to kind of hear an entire piece of music than just to sit there and say, does this three seconds of sound sound right for you? The logo needs to be concise so that it can fit into short ad spots and social media. The goal is to create something that sticks with people. That's where strategy and Lucas's intuition come into play. I've absorbed everything that you've told me about your brand. I know it's supposed to be joyful. I know it's supposed to be warm. I know it's supposed to be about togetherness, but it's not like there's a one-to-one -one relationship that says this sound is that. You have to go on your instinct, really. It's the part that isn't so analytical. It's like the creative process. The same way that Tostitos has a font and a color scheme, we're hoping this, this thing becomes the thing forever. According to a study by audio intelligence platform Veritonic, brand recall for Tostitos went up 38% less than a year after launching the Sonic logo. That's one way the team at Made Music measures impact. To me, I feel like it's successful if I can walk into a room, sing the logo poorly, and people go, oh yeah. Danny was one of the producers behind AT&T's original Sonic logo created in 2011. If I play that for a group of people, and I ask, how old is that? I get people saying like 20 years. That's like the power of like a, a Sonic logo, is that I can make it, people feel like it's been there all along. Audio branding isn't new. The stuff's been around for decades, dating back to 1929 when NBC created the first audio trademark. The iconic three-note chimes are still a highly recognized sound in America today. But for a long time, many audio trademarks were longer jingles. Remember these? Charmin. 
It wasn't until the 90s that three-second sounds took over, when Intel launched this short but sweet Sonic logo that changed the game. That sound was played not only in Intel commercials, but also in ads for every computer that used its chip. You can get a complete Dell system with an Intel Pentium 3 processor. And the repetition worked. As written in Forbes, today you can't think of Intel without hearing the iconic Intel Inside Bong. Plenty of other brands have proven it works too. From to all of these brands hope that when you hear these sounds, Tostitos, get to the good stuff. You feel something. Just like the crash of thunder could make you nervous, or the whoosh of sending out an email could give you a sense of accomplishment. Humans are wired to have emotional responses to different sounds. Emotionomics, a book about the role of emotions in business, explains that recall is emotion-based, and we have gut reactions in three seconds or less. And data shows that campaigns that tug on the heartstrings perform twice as well as the unemotional ones. There's something very, you know, warm and joyful just about... It's just a bright sound. It's a natural sound. It's like an accessible sound. You can shut your eyes, but you can't really shut your ears. Audio branding often cuts through. And once you start to tune into the sounds around you, they might be hard to tune out. If that story was music to your ears, head on over to thehustle.co and check out our daily newsletter for all the latest stories in business and tech. And hit the subscribe button too for more videos just like this one.